Well, I started acting when I was eight years old. I think my um, parents needed something for me to do after school. And so they enrolled me in a um, musical theater uh, for kids, uh, sort of, um, yeah, staging of musicals, basically just, just a show. I think the first show I did was um, Big River. And there's some embarrassing film footage of me skipping around in circles, picking my nose, sitting down and doing not much else. Um, but uh, it was when I played Oliver when I was eight years old that I sort of caught the bug. Um, and then I've kind of always known I wanted to do that and have moved from there. But I was born in New Zealand, so um, I've come all the way to London and I've sort of zigzagged via Australia where I did my initial training and um, have done a, you know, circled the world a few times doing a few different shows. I suppose in a way, um, the hardest part has just been the sort of um, the journey. I mean, obviously, starting in New Zealand, um, comparable to uh, you know British actors starting here, it's like I started you know 200 meters before the start line, <laughs> a little bit, um, and that I had to sort of you know find my way to a um, a place in a market where theatre work was uh, more vibrant and sort of more present. Not no disrespect to my fellow New Zealand actors that are at home, um, <laughs> just that I wanted to be in a sort of you know playing on the bigger stage, playing on a world stage. So. Um, there was sort of, you know, quite a journey into um, relocating and um, sort of, you know, finding my footing in a, um, in a new environment um, that was important before I could even get about the work. These Days Drama School is, uh, is sort of like the understood platform uh, from which to be introduced to agents via showcase. Um, so uh, it, it's great for facilitating your learning. It gives you a strong framework and structure with which to explore. I'd say if you're doing, uh, if musical theater is your passion, your vocation, then um, it's such a well condensed thing to do at drama school because you'll get the dance classes, the singing classes. There's a sort of fitness element that you'll get from the intensity of a three year course that's really beneficial. But um, working more or specifically as an actor it doesn't have to be the way um, if you're not doing drama school I would highly recommend classes the likes that are on I am pro um, because it's um, there is a sort of you know uh, language and um, process that can be really useful for acting obviously though everybody ultimately finds their own process in their own way so drama school is the path for some but not for all um, you know despite what uh, most people do you may find another path everybody finds their own way in this industry Key elements to success, that's a big question. I would say that um, finding what you do well is really important. So what is your casting? What do people want to see you do? And um, how can you maximize your ability to do that? Um, that will be the most important thing to getting a foothold. I think a lot of young actors think that they want to be, you know, want to characterize, they want to do amazing, you know, they want to do everything. They think that it's within them to play all roles. And heck, a lot of that might be true, but you've got to kind of find that which you, uh, that, that people see in you from which you can sort of find the different permutations and different characterization potential. Um, so, so find what you can offer. Um, if you can stumble upon that, then, you know, away you'll go. The truth about making it is there's really no definitive moment, I think, uh, that you'll know you've made it. Um, you'll forever, I mean, if you're anything like me, there's always um, there's always higher benchmarks, there's always more you can do. Um, so I think an important thing to remember about making it is to actually just take stock of that which you've achieved. Uh, as you achieve it, when you achieve it, celebrate your victories. It's um, it's a bit of a relentless game in that it's it, it's quite a lot of sort of hard work that, that pays off in these little blips of moments. Um, um, as an actor so really celebrate those moments and uh, acknowledge always that which you've achieved um, making it comes in phases so um, it's going to be a case of sort of you know uh, enjoying each moment as it comes and then there's more and then there's more Always protect your sense of joy and your sense of play and fun about what you do. So um, don't let the sort of impression of the industry and what it might want and the sort of mechanisms of, of, of the of the um, the industry of acting um, diminish your spark and your joy and your your passion for the art of acting. Um, so uh, stay connected to that. Um, be an amateur always, effectively. <laughs> Understand your what, the, the joy that brought you to performance. Um, uh, what else? What would be the pitfalls? What would I say to a young Ryan? 
Mm. I think young Ryan needs to know not to worry so much. Young Ryan needs to know to, um, to learn that it's a process and that you can't be perfect. There is no such thing as perfection. I mean, Ryan to this day, <laughs> to speak of myself in the third person, is a recovering perfectionist. Um, there is no such thing as perfect as an actor. There's just choices and better choices and a myriad of options and, and interpretations. So so that sort of relentlessness, I think, of, of my, my appetite as a young actor made me quite hard on myself. Um, and I would strongly recommend being a bit more forgiving with yourself and knowing that wherever you're at and whatever you have at this moment is what you'll be cast for. Um, and so not to worry about that which you're not um, and to know that you know things come with time you mature as an actor um, I will be a better actor in 10 years than I am now as I sort of grow through my experience and um, that's okay a bit of acceptance and a bit of sort of um, self-congratulation I think young Ryan could appreciate <laughs>